back to Best Life and Beyond Home is where the vlog is. I'm not even sure what number it is. Don't know what day it is. I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, he was in the background. She's, she was. She's on safari. We uh, we woke up late today. It's um, today was a, a tougher one for me to wake up and get motivated. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it was. I think even for me too. I sat with my bowl of cereal and I, I watched some reruns of Dexter and like, I mean. It, it took a lot just for me to go, okay, I guess I gotta go walk and like get some sunshine today. I know. I, I went down the uh, Tiger King rabbit hole and started watching the YouTube episodes of his actual, the show that he actually did that they talk about in the, in the, uh, the, doc, the documentary. Um, and then I was like, what am I doing? Like, so I went out and sat on the deck for a minute. It was really nice. And then Katie's like, let's go down. So I'm like, all right, let's go down. Yeah. So we're here and uh, no plan. Uh, this is one of those days when we're just like, well, we're here. We're here. Here we're for, for you guys. Uh, and I feel better now, though. I do. Anytime I we're outside, yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, um, and then today I'm going to make some broccoli cheddar soup. I've been right. finding some recipes and uh, I think we'll see what happens. Yeah. Hello, miss. Hi. Come by to check in. Maybe she'll she'll rest now for a little bit. I don't know though. She's like, I came for the three shot. Now it's a three shot. There it is. All right, so yeah, there's some waves today. It's nice and warm. There's a, a light breeze. We're, uh, you know, just kind of taking it as it comes today. Who knows what's yeah. going to happen? Um, yeah. Nothing really planned though, other than making soup. But I can tell you that the title of this video is what's going to happen. Yeah. We never know until the end. Yeah. Like until we like kind of like edit it and go like, oh, okay. But by the time you guys are watching this, there will have been a title, okay. some sort of focus, or maybe not, I don't know. Right, right now, I can't guarantee focus, but we're here for you. Checking in on the dailies. Hope you're doing well. Let's do this. know us like she's like yeah whatever wow. get all the sand on the nose yep. someone has been sniffing the beach thoroughly yeah there's mr sandpiper Aww. getting some sand crabs chomping away Katie's doing her ritual, the ritual saltwater head dip. She likes what it does to her hair. I love this sandbar, this low tide. Yeah, it's like cool because you can consistently walk through the water, Yeah. And it just like pushes back. You can see it, look at that layer pushing back, look at it. Wait for another one to come. And look at you were smart and didn't wear shoes again today. True. <laughs> All right, we're back up. Back up from the beach. Katie's making lunch. Yes. Bread is being dolled out. Uh, some tomatoes. Some yep. salad. The little chives and there's the butter lettuce. It smells so fresh. We're gonna have some salad. Mm. And then we're, I got from Gelson's, I got some potato salad oh, and that some stuff turkey. stuff is so good. That Gelson's potato salad is yeah. ridiculous. So, oh, their yeah. turkey too is really, yeah. really bomb. So we're gonna have turkey avocado sandwiches with salad and then potato salad. Boom. Thanks, Katie. You're All right, there welcome. it is. Turkey avocado Jeez. and potato salad. Look at that. Yeah. Fruit. Looks really good. All right, cheers. So another good day. Yes. All 
right, we just finished lunch a little while ago. Um, just kind of hanging out, chilling. Spencer's on his phone. I think he's playing Scrabble. <laughs> I think he's taking a nap. I think Spencer might take a nap. My eyes are watering because I was just chopping up an onion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make broccoli cheddar soup. I have been craving broccoli cheddar soup and um, ironically, I think I was like flipping around on Instagram and uh, I think it was Ree Drummond, like she posted, like she's making broccoli cheddar soup. So I'm like, okay, started researching some recipes. I've kind of gathered up the basics and um, I'm gonna, of course, make it my way. Obviously, like a lot of the things, like the broccoli, the cheddar, um, you know, the chicken broth, stuff like that, same ingredients. Uh, a few recipes suggested nutmeg, a couple, a pinch of cayenne. I don't like cayenne. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna put any of that in there. And uh, we don't really have any nutmeg, so I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. But here is what I'm going to use. This is about 24 ounces of shredded cheese. I shredded it myself, painstakingly. Um, this is a mild cheddar, and both are two different types of sharp cheddars. I think this one is extra sharp and this is sharp, so we're going with a little blend here, just what we have. I diced up one onion. I did two garlic cloves. A lot of uh, things, recipes said like one garlic clove, but two it's gonna be. I want to say this is about a pound of broccoli. I don't really know. I didn't weigh it, but it looks like a good amount. A lot of recipes also called for multiple carrots. I just chose one giant carrot because that's all I had and shredded it up. Half a cup of flour. And then we're going to need half a cup or one stick of butter. And four cups of chicken broth. This is what I happen to have. You could also use vegetable. Um, chicken stock and then a whole container of half and half or you can do like milk and some heavy cream so that's just what we're gonna use it's what we have and I'm gonna get going on that and follow on the process I've never made this before so I'm very curious how it'll turn out I'm confident and uh, I think it'll be good what do you think Spence it has cheese in it right yeah lots of cheese we're good <laughs> My nose is so red because I was literally tearing up when I was cutting those onions. Like, I had like residual mascara on because I put a very little bit on, so I probably look like a raccoon right now. Plus, the shadows aren't helping. I'm gonna take a big pot and we're gonna start off with the butter and sauteing the onions. I'm gonna just let those go for a while. Um, then I'm gonna add the garlic. And then I'm going to add the shredded carrot. At first I was a little bit leery on adding the shredded carrot to the butter and everything because you're gonna basically like make a little bit of a roux type thing with the flour. But I realized the carrots really need to like cook and get that color on them. So it's probably a necessary step. So we're gonna start off that way. All right, so the butter is just about melted. So I'm going to put the onions in because I have no patience and by onions I mean the one medium sized onion kind of medium to large but I like onion I honestly could have chopped this up a little bit more but oh well okay so I'm going to let the onions and the butter kind of hang out and sit on the heat for about like hmm, eight to ten minutes depends on you know how I, I'm just keeping a close eye so that they don't burn it's a real beautiful thing in this pot. Butter and onions. Oh my goodness. It's been about six minutes and I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer. I feel like there's no harm in that. Just wanna get that raw taste out. I think onions just get sweeter and I think that'll like help make the soup, you know, nice and sweet. Nice balance for the salty cheese. Okay, 10 minutes later, I think it's time to season, and then we are going to add the carrot. There's the carrot, everybody's in. I'm gonna cook this for, I don't know, a couple minutes, and then we will add the flour. All right, adding the half cup of flour, put that in and let this cook for a couple minutes. Very important to cook your flour. <laughs> Cannot stress this enough. <laughs> 
Alright. Looks like Play-Doh. Carrot and onion Play-Doh. Alright, time to add the chicken stock. Actually, chicken broth is what we have. I think stock would have been a little bit more flavorful for this, but... that in. Okay, I've stirred in that uh, chicken broth and now I'm going to put the broccoli in. Really wish I had more carrots here, but um, I actually whisked in the broth because I didn't want the um, flour to be in chunks. And this was as fine as I could chop the broccoli without it just disintegrating. I even used some of the stems because I like that. And I'm just going to stir this in and let it like kind of simmer down for, I don't know, let's say like five to ten minutes and just kind of stir it every once in a while. Okay, I have been letting this like simmer and boil, kind of a light mild boil for about, I don't know, eight minutes or so. I'm going to add the half and half in and then bring it up to a simmer for a little while longer. Then I will turn off the heat and add the cheese. Okay, I have added the half and half in there. So like I said, I'm going to bring this up to a simmer and once that's kind of like bubbled away for about like five minutes or so, maybe ten, uh, that's when I will add the cheese. But I was reading a lot of recipes and they all said make sure to turn off the heat before you add the cheese in or it'll like separate and get gross. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil now and then we'll get ready for Mr. Cheese. It's just been simmering away. It's only been a couple of minutes probably. Whoa, a little fog. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to be quiet because Spencer fell asleep and he's taking a nap, but it's been kind of bubbling away. I think I'm going to let it go a little bit longer, maybe another like, I honestly think maybe another like five minutes is what I'll do, but man, it already smells so good. <laughs> I think that's a good sign. Okay, this has been simmering for about eight minutes or so. I've taken it off the heat and I am going to add in the cheese. It is now time for the best part, my friends. Okay, I saved some cheese to stir in so you guys can see since it's like the best part. Yeah. So there's just enough residual heat in there to melt the cheese. You don't want to have this on the burner. Oh my gosh, it's so thick and delicious. Woo! Yes! I don't think you could add too much cheese, honestly. So the next time I do this, I'm going to definitely add more carrot and probably do a mild cheddar, I think would be better, but because this came out like, whoo, potent cheesy. I actually added a little bit of vegetable broth to thin it out because I think the sharp cheddar just was intense. And then obviously salt and pepper to your liking and it's done. That's it. I'm still not angry at it. We're going to eat it. <laughs> okay, you're going to see these cords here because... I needed to bring out the electric blanket. It actually got really, really cold out. And Spencer woke up from his nap. Good morning. Mm. Watching some Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. What are you having? So good. Some of the cheddar broccoli. I love it. You really like it? Oh yeah. Okay, so I personally am not a big like sharp cheddar fan, but I think that's all they had at the store. I think this would be really good with mild cheddar. So if you guys try to make it, I would suggest using mild cheddar and maybe like a few more carrots. No, but if you're a cheese person like me, yeah, I like the flavor of okay. the sharp cheese. All right. <clears throat> it's not as sharp as it would be like if you sliced it off the... the well, it was sharper. I actually added a little bit of vegetable broth oh. just to like tame it because <laughs> I was like, whoa, but it's not bad, huh? You love it though. You've Great. been he's been eating. <laughs> Talking about he's been eating it like since it was sitting on. The, he woke up. He's I like, was eating it cold. Yeah. <laughs> Is it better warm? Oh yeah. Okay, so I hope the recipe kind of helped you guys. I'm gonna tweak it some more, but at least you kind of have like 
some idea of what to do. I hope it helped. And uh, we're gonna watch some more Breaking Bad. It really smells good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Bomb. Yeah, it's good. But I, like I said, I thinned it out a little bit um, with some broth. Like it's, it was actually I wish really I tried thick. It yeah, I think honestly, if you would have tried it when it was way thicker and cheesy, it, was... it was almost fondue-y. Mm. See, <laughs> you know what it reminded me of? The log cheddar lager soup um, know, like, from DCA at the Food and Wine. Like a bowl of the, of I'm the, sorry. Ooh, the, the gooey ooey. Yeah, well, it wasn't that gooey. It was good, though. I don't know. It was good. Was it the consistency of like Velveeta? Kind of. A little less. A little less. But it it was it was it's a very sharp cheddar. Okay. I mean, one of those blocks I used was aged like five years. Oh. So, but it was all I could find at Erwan. So I love the aged. Yeah, yeah. So you have to really think about like what cheddar you're using when you make this soup. That's all I can say. Cheddar is better. Cheddar is better. What are you doing? Drawing. Found it. Oh, not the color I wanted. I just want to update you guys. We have not left this couch pretty much since spencer ate soup it's been about what two three hours easy easily yeah about three hours um we've been on the couch like we watched about <laughs> 12 episodes of breaking bad maybe not 12 obviously Who, who's to say? we watched a lot and then we watched, watched uh... <laughs> and then we watched the office and started editing this video that you're watching and now Spencer seems to be drawing. Let's take a look and see what he's doing. It was just one of those free ones that... Um, An app? Yeah, and they always they want you to buy it, and they keep having a little pop-up ad. Oh, you're drawing my name! Yeah. Just a little graffiti. It's, like, soothing to do. Tell us. Tell us about how soothing it is. Well, no, it's just kind is of... Is it super soothing? Is no, it just, more soothing than a foot massage? Uh, no. A sensual massage. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. I think it looks great. Are you trying to color outside of the lines? No, I'm just coloring inside. As you can see. I can't, I can't tell. It, oh. I guess we'd have to see the finished product to really like see what you're doing. Yeah, you can't really tell when I'm blocking in the color, as they call it, right here. Oh, is that what you're doing? And then are you able to, like, erase it away or something? Because the green inside of the K is, like, a disaster. <laughs> it's not done yet. <laughs> Jeez. It's a disaster. <laughs> Look at Biggie's, like, it's a disaster. She gave up. <laughs> I want this on a t-shirt. Oh, it's not really disastrous anymore. But why can't we see the black outline? It's not there yet. Did we want to do that on purpose? I do it last. Oh. It's it's a reference. In okay, the guys, I'm going to give him a couple minutes, and then I'll update you on the progress oh, of good. the progress of w, this. It's, it's a whip. W-I-P, work in progress. I have since moved positions for a better view <laughs> this still looks like a mess to me not in a bad way but i mean like you just fill in the colors it's it, you know he also just downloaded this app like what 10 minutes ago yeah i'm just getting used to it <laughs> and you can't go back to the same color i think you probably can i'm looking for the eyedropper like where you can just grab the same the shade. same color that i already Hmm. But I think I can get pretty close to it. So it's, Why does that thing keep popping up? Not a big deal. What do you think about all this, Pinky? What do you think? She is just trying to catch up on some Z's. While Spencer is continuing to draw... Oh, we have some more progress! Wow, that does look really good. Getting there. Dang. Um, while he's doing that, I'm going to give you a little cheese ball check-in. The cheese ball check-in. Um, the white did you... zone. What? The white zone is for loading and unloading of passengers only. <laughs> did you eat any cheese balls today? I did not. 
Because you had cheddar soup. I did. And um, a lot of it. I thought about it. I thought of throwing maybe a couple in the cheddar soup and stuff oh. to see what they would do. If they would like melt down in the heat. We can make cheese ball soup someday. Well, that's what I was thinking. Maybe that's the next thing. Um, so yeah, there, there really wasn't any eaten today. Nothing to update. And we had a few yesterday, but really no more progress. I, I think it's going to take a while for us to get down past the label. That's going to be a triumph. You would think that we would have eaten more being as we stayed on the couch for as long as we, we did, but we honestly were like so glued to the TV. It just, you know, didn't happen. And not only is this a check-in for cheese balls, but this is a time where we can check in on ourselves and on you. How are you feeling on the inside? How are you uh, handling today? How has today or how did yesterday go? How is this week going for you? I really appreciated hearing the honest feelings of how you're all feeling in our comments. Uh, both of us did, I should say. Uh, we read those and I think it really does help normalize feeling the anxiousness and the hopelessness that I kind of dip in and out of. Knowing that everybody's kind right. of in the same boat. Yeah, definitely. Um, I will say though, like generally I'm still feeling really happy. Like yesterday for some odd reason, I even posted on my Instagram, I was just out of control happy, like really happy. And I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's because we started off the day with Mickey pancakes and I, I mean, it just made me laugh so hard. Um, but it was a good day and I think we're just- But don't mistake that for lack of concern. Yeah, that's right. true. You're right. I mean, it's kind of funny because sometimes when people are like happy or laughing and like in a good place, people do kind of um, sometimes go like, oh, well, that, you don't even care, like blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you're right. Just because you're happy doesn't mean you don't care. And just because you're sad doesn't mean that you're being negative. I guess that's the, the point that the cheese balls are trying to make. Call me a cheese ball? I am calling you a cheese ball. A little cheese ball. You're I, a cute little cheese ball. I resemble that remark. <laughs> you resemble? Isn't it resent? Yeah, but the joke is resemble. It's like a self-deprecating joke. Be here You're using a too. lot of big words. I don't know what you just <laughs> said at all. Wow, this looks really good, you guys. Okay, well, we gotta wrap up this video. Oh, it's gonna be getting too long. So I think we're going to wrap it up and you guys will have to just see tomorrow what this ends up looking like. That's how we're going to do this. We're leaving a little bit of a cliffhanger, Spence. Oh, cliffhanger. Dun, dun, dun. This is something exciting in quarantine. Next week to the same bat channel. If you like these videos and you want to keep them coming, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Those are the main ways that we're like okay they actually the, like they, they dig this content <laughs> um and if you want to support best life and beyond you can become one of our patreon members to that to those patreon members and of course all you viewers we are so thankful and love you ever grateful more than you could ever know it's um, good to know you're out there it sure is <laughs> and i guess we'll see you tomorrow on best life and beyond bye bye everybody